Preamble to the Bill of Rights, Congress of the United States, begun and held at the City of New York on Wednesday, the 4th of March, 1789. The conventions of a number of the states having at the time of their adopting the Constitution expressed a desire in order to prevent misconstruction or abuse of its powers, that further declaratory and restrictive clauses should be added, and as extending the ground of public confidence in the government will best ensure the benefit, the beneficent ends of its institution, resolved by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America, in Congress assembled two-thirds of both houses concurring that the following articles be proposed to the legislatures of the several states as amendments to the Constitution of the United States, all or any of which articles, when ratified by three-fourths of the said legislatures, to be valid to all intents and purposes as part of the said Constitution. These articles, in addition to an amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America proposed by Congress and ratified by the legislatures of the several states pursuant to the fifth article of the original Constitution. Frederick Augustus Muhlenberg, Speaker of the House of Representatives. John Adams, Vice President of the United States and President of the Senate. Attest John Beckley, Clerk of the House of Representatives, Sam A. Otis, Secretary of the Senate. On September 25, 1789, Congress transmitted to the state legislators 12 proposed amendments, two of which, having to do with the congressional representation and congressional pay, were not adopted. The remaining 10 amendments became the Bill of Rights.